Welcome back, history buffs and curious minds alike. Today, we're tackling a question that sounds like it's straight out of a Hollywood script. Are there any Hitlers left? Now, before you start imagining secret meetings in dark castles, let's get one thing straight. We're delving into the descendants of Adolf Hitler, one of history's most notorious figures. So, grab your popcorn and detective hats as we dive into this intriguing, somewhat quirky investigation. And remember, we're keeping it lighthearted and respectful. Adolf's family tree, the roots. Adolf Hitler, a name synonymous with tyranny and war. But what about his family? Born to Alois Hitler and Clara Pölzel. Adolf was one of six siblings. His brothers and sisters included Alois Jr., Angela, Paula, Gustav, Ida, and Otto. Gustav, Ida, and Otto died in infancy, leaving Adolf with his sister Paula, half-brother Alois Jr., and half-sister Angela as the surviving siblings. Today, we're peeling back the layers of this family tree to see where the branches have spread. Siblings and Shadows Alois Jr., the elder half-brother, had a rocky relationship with Adolf and spent much of his life away from the spotlight of his infamous brother. Eventually settling into a life that bore little resemblance to Adolf's, Angela, Adolf's half-sister, married twice and had a daughter, Gailey Raubel, whose tragic story is often overshadowed by her uncle's notoriety. Paula Hitler, the full sister, lived a life of relative obscurity, never marrying or having children, determined to live quietly under the heavy weight of the family name. The American Connection The plot thickens with the American branch of the Hitler family. Adolf's nephew William Patrick Hitler, son of Alois Jr., sought refuge from his uncle's shadow in the United States. I have just left Germany and uh, Adolf Hitler, who is my uncle, I personally have no time for. After serving in the U.S. Navy during World War II, he changed his surname to Stuart Houston, marking a deliberate step away from his toxic heritage. William's four sons, born from this line, are believed to have made a pact to end the Hitler lineage by not having children a decision that has sparked much speculation and intrigue. The name game. With the Hitler name being as welcome as a snowstorm in July, it's no surprise that those who carried it sought to change it or hide it. The descendants from Adolf's siblings have largely faded into the background, with many choosing to change their names and live lives far removed from their infamous ancestor's shadow. Today, finding a direct descendant who carries the Hitler surname is a task that would likely prove a futile as the name has been deliberately buried under layers of history and anonymity. Hitler's bloodline today, despite the efforts to sever ties with the past, the bloodline of Adolf Hitler, through his siblings, has trickled down into the 21st century. The descendants of Alois Jr. and Angela have branched out across the globe, many of them bearing different surnames and living lives that stand in stark contrast to their ancestors' dark legacy. These individuals have chosen to define themselves not by their lineage, but by their actions, contributing to society in ways that quietly repudiate their forebears' deeds. The Psychological Legacy The burden of the Hitler legacy is not just historical, but deeply personal for those who carry his blood. The descendants face the unique challenge of reconciling their identity with a past they neither chose nor condone. This psychological journey involves navigating the complexities of heritage and the desire to forge a positive path forward, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of historical shadows. A lesson in names and legacy. The tale of the Hitler descendants is a poignant reminder of the power of names and the capacity for change. It underscores the idea that we are not bound by our ancestors' choices and that each generation has the opportunity to redefine its legacy. The virtual disappearance of the Hitler name symbolizes a collective choice to move beyond the past, embracing a future defined by personal values and contributions rather than historical burdens. Conclusion So, are there any Hitlers left? Yes, but not in the way you might think. The descendants of one of history's most infamous figures have chosen a path of anonymity, a decision that speaks volumes. It's a fascinating journey through history, identity, and the power of a name. But remember, at the end of the day, we're all more than just our names. It's our actions and choices that truly define us. 
Thanks for joining us on this peculiar exploration. If this video sparked your interest, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more content that tickles your curiosity. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and who knows what mysteries will unravel next.